So today is going to be a very, very straightforward tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how you can actually connect your Canva account to MailChimp. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if you're looking to start, build, or just learn more about how to make money in entrepreneurship, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. But in today's video, you guys, I'm building upon the previous video where we talked about how you can earn revenue using your email marketing. Today, I'm going to show you guys step by step how I have been personally using Canva to effectively design, create, and send my email newsletters. So if you have already watched that video and this video, we're going to learn how to actually design and send our newsletters using both Canva and MailChimp. So let's go ahead and get right into it. If you're excited for this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss when I drop another gym. Okay, you guys, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record my screen and open up Canva. Unless we're in Canva's home page, what we're going to type in the search bar is email market. And it's obviously going to be hundreds of different templates that you can look for I'm just going to go ahead and click the one that is going to work best for what I'm using for this example we're going to scroll down I'm going to use one that is related to skincare so here we go let's talk about skincare so you click the template that you decide that you want to use and you're going to click customize this template all right so what happens is your your template will appear in canva and you can actually customize this whichever way that you would like so i'm going to zoom in and we're going to get to customizing we're going to make sure that our brand colors are matching if you haven't seen a video on the best branding strategy go ahead and check out that video because i did give you guys like step by step everything that you should be doing in your business to make sure that you're branding effectively we're going to go ahead and change this background color to a nice pink probably this lighter pink we can actually use some of canva stock images and stock photos i like to type in skincare photos see what i can get something that's just relevant to skincare okay this is nice that's cute it matches the pink all right i'm going to keep the text and everything the same but i'm going to change this image out as well to one that's similar Okay, so what I'll do is I'll click and drag that, and they made this one black and white, but I'm going to change that effect and put the saturation back at zero. Okay, perfect. So another thing that you can do, obviously you can change all of your text. You can make sure that your website name is here. So we're going to change this to put Rosebeauty Cosmetics, and I'll also be changing the fonts. Okay, monthly newsletter. I'll keep that. Here, rosebeautycosmetics.com. So many typos. Okay, change your background color, change it to the same pink, make sure that your fonts are the same all across. And you guys get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm not going to do this entire design, but I did want to show you how it's actually doable in Canva. Okay, so after you have actually designed your template and made your template what you desire for your newsletter, what you're going to do is go up to the share tab, go down to more, and scroll all the way down until you see the messaging section. Over here we see messaging. What you do is click MailChimp, okay? MailChimp is actually integrated with Canva, which is why I just love Canva so much, you guys. It makes it so simple to do these things and not lose all of your designs or have to like click back and forth between two different tabs. I always say, y'all, this year we working smarter, not harder. So publish your design straight to MailChimp. It says connect MailChimp, which we are actually going to do. It's going to bring up MailChimp's login page. And simply what you'll do is log into your MailChimp account. Okay, so then you will get to this screen that says authorize Canva. Connecting Canva will allow access to your account. You want to go ahead and click allow. We're almost through. And okay, so now Canva, your Canva account is actually connected directly to your MailChimp account. And it says save your design to your files in MailChimp. So we're going to save both pages. And it's going to download our files directly over to MailChimp so that we don't actually have to do that process ourselves. What we're going to do next is go right over to MailChimp and create our first newsletter. As you guys can see, there's a button right here that says your design has been saved. View in MailChimp. So I always just click the view in MailChimp button. It makes it simple to get right over there. It will load up our MailChimp account. Yay, we are about to start creating our email. As you can see, you have a files upload section in MailChimp where all of your Canva designs and templates will actually be placed after you have saved and published them to MailChimp. So next what we're going to do is head up over to this create button at the top left. The first thing that I want to show you guys is how to actually create a regular email. So we're going to click the design email button. It says choose an email builder. We have this new builder where they use AI assisted tools to optimize your content and help boost engagement. 
Love this feature. Also, they have the regular Classic Builder where you can actually create a design. Today, I want to show you guys how you can actually use the Classic Builder. In another video, I'll show you guys the AI Assisted version. But let's go to Classic because we're just starting. Um, what we're going to do is click the basic template. We're going to click this one column template. Okay, so now we are in our actual MailChimp basic template. What I'm going to show you guys is how to actually integrate your template that we use in Canva into this, all right? Okay, so as you can see in this MailChimp template, you're able to actually click onto everything and use the right hand side to actually drag and drop your images, your logos, your colors. You can change your colors using the style button. Um, you can actually change the content using this um, content button and then there's different settings that you can actually use to shift to like align things to the left, the right, or the center. But what I did want to show you guys, if you click the main content of your email, here's where you can actually type into your email, okay? You can actually edit the fonts, the sizes, the colors. You can create links within your email. There's all sorts of things that you can do. I did want to show you guys how you can actually get that Canva template that we designed over into this delete this text box because we have already fully designed our Canva template, right? So what I would do is go over to Okay, so on the right hand side, you're going to click on to image. It says drag or drop content blocks here. So directly underneath the logo, we want to add our image. And we're going to go up to browse. And here you can see it opens up our content studio where all of our templates and our designs and things like that will actually be placed. Now all you got to do is click the image and click insert. Easy peasy. And look at that. So another thing that you can do is actually edit. You can actually edit your template in MailChimp, right? So you click the edit button and if you want to adjust the colors and things like that, you can do that here. They give you a lot of different options. So though you've done this in Canva, if you actually see it in your email, you're like, mm, I'm not really feeling that, I can change that. So you can drag and adjust the color. Add text boxes. If you forgot to write something, you can add a text box here. And say you forgot to put um, shop now or something like that. We can go ahead and double click and we can put shop now. Change that text to black so it's easier to see. And boom, save it, and it should update. Okay, did you see how simple that was? Absolutely love this. Another thing that you can do is add links. So if you put your website address at the bottom of your Canva template, like I do highly recommend, you can actually include that URL, which will make it clickable in MailChimp. So I'll go ahead and put, again, rosebeautcosmetics.com. And we're going to insert that. So that when someone clicks on this graphic in their newsletter, they'll actually be directed to the website. Okay, and one more thing that I want to show you guys is you can actually upload your logos up here. You can, you can change the links to your social media down at the bottom. It will actually be a hyperlink for someone to click and actually access all of your social media. So if you have a Twitter, if you have Facebook, you can include all of the links, even your website link. You definitely want to have your website link included in this section of your email just in case somebody actually resonated with your email and they're like okay well how do I find her store how do I find her social media so that I can keep up with her just make sure you include your social media so you can do that here as well okay and then you just click save and close now once you are happy with the way that your newsletter actually looks what you'll do is click the continue button at the top right now you're actually able to start adding your recipients or your subscribers so that you can send it to who you want to send this email to so we don't have any subscribers on this actual video because this is just for example purposes, but you will actually be able to click all of your different subscribers here to send it to. You will send it from, obviously yourself, create your subject line. We are going to put, let's talk about skincare. You're going to change the name of your email list at the top so that you can see this is a monthly newsletter. So I'm going to put monthly newsletter in case this wants to be a template, right? Okay, before you ever send any email or anything that you're doing as far as marketing goes, posting a social media post, anything like that, always, always, always proofread or preview or send a test email just in case you mess something up or you wanna see what it looks like before you actually put, publish it to hundreds of people, right? So I always like to click this preview button right here and it will just show me exactly what my email will look like when someone receives it, okay? It will show you the header, it will show you the subject, what the email looks like and everything. And then just to further do that, like I said, you can click send a test email and send it to yourself before you actually publish it. After you do that, there will be a button that says send and you send it. And just like that, if you're not going to send it immediately, there's also this scheduling button up at the top so that you can schedule it to be posted at a later date. 
Okay, you guys, just like that. All right, you guys, just like that. We have not only created our own custom branded template using Canva, but we also connected our Canva templates directly to MailChimp and we learned how to actually create our newsletter, how to schedule and send it. And basically now you're on your way to go ahead and send that very first email to your subscribers after you start to collect them. And now you're going to be able to add email marketing to your list of marketing strategies for your small business. So I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please, please, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss when I drop another gem. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know that you learned something. It really helps me to know that these are the types of videos that you guys are interested in. And I'm always trying to give you guys what you guys need. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video on Friday. Peace.